It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Our top story tonight, like it's been for as long as I can remember, infrastructure. <laughs> Last night, the House passed President Biden's $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, which should be enough to clean as many as two of LaGuardia's bathrooms. <laughs> the infrastructure bill will also expand Internet access across the U.S., which is great news, because when has more Internet ever been bad for America? <laughs> Democrat Terry McAuliffe lost to Republican Glenn Youngkin in the Virginia governor's race, but... On the bright side, losers from Virginia usually get a statue. <laughs> Political experts say that the Republican victory in Virginia's governor's race was fueled by support from white women who didn't go to college, which just so happens to be the same exact group I target on Tinder. <laughs> in, the wake of Republican, in the wake of Republican success in this week's elections, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy announced that Republicans would introduce a parent's bill of rights which I'm pretty sure is just a sign you can buy at Home Goods. <laughs> Pfizer announced that it has developed an antiviral pill that can reduce hospitalization among COVID patients by nearly 90%. And even better, it makes you harder than trigonometry. <laughs> Steve... <laughs> Steve... <laughs> Stephen Sweeney, the New Jersey Senate president, lost his re-election bid in an upset to a truck driver named Edward Durr. Coincidentally, Durr is also the New Jersey state motto. <laughs> with his victory, Eric Adams will become New York's second black mayor, not to be confused with the New York mayor who blacks out. <laughs> Adams defeated Republican Curtis Sliwa, who will now return to his previous job as Emily in Paris's lawyer. <laughs> Republican Winsome Sears, seen here attempting suicide by cop, was elected... <laughs> ..was elected as Virginia's first black female lieutenant governor. But this is actually a win for Democrats, because nothing will get Republicans to support gun control faster than this picture. <laughs> Former President Trump was filmed doing the tomahawk chop at a World Series game in Atlanta. Native American groups said they found it extremely offensive to see their culture associated with someone who can't even run a successful casino. <laughs>